Before I begin this video, I really want to thank one of my viewers, Kathleen. She sent me this picture via Instagram of something that she created and that I inspired her to create. Kathleen, you sent me such a beautiful message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That really, really touches my heart. This is the reason why I create. If I inspire somebody, that's all that matters to me. That really is. And that's the reason why I have this channel. Wendy and Noisy out here. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Grace. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to do a bubble gum machine. I am so excited about this guys, because you know what? I have seen these in photos, but I've never actually seen it being painted on video. So I thought I would give it a try and then I would show you, I would share what I found out. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Let me be honest with you. There were some ups and downs and a little of this and a little of that, but you know what? We fixed it. We managed it. And that's what my channel is all about. I don't want to drop the glass, so I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, and that's how it looks like. Okay, this is all new to me. Okay, so the glass comes right off. Does it, oh, this comes right off. Oh, something else. Oh. So this comes right off, but I just don't know if it's screwed on anywhere. It must be. Let me see. Okay, that's okay. We'll figure that part out. And it looks like I've made a couple of coins and I can bet you they're my granddaughters. So I've taken it apart as you've seen. That's how it looks inside, all hollow. This little part here, the little coin part. I was hoping I would take this off, but you know what? It's a bit complicated. There's screws in there and I'm not gonna bother, but I did just notice that this comes off. So yes, I will be taking that off. That's the top part and it's just a hollow piece. Okay, and that's metal. Here, this is a plastic and of course these are metal. And I videotaped everything so that I know how to put it all back. This piece and this piece with the springs, it does say top front but it was upside down, that's odd. So in fact, it should have been like this and not like this. And this is, of course, the bubble gum glass. Now I'm gonna make sure that I have to be real careful with this not to break. So I'm gonna put this away while I paint the machine. Now I'm just using some alcohol wipes. I've never done these before, so this is all new to me as it is to you. But you know what, if it doesn't work, guys, don't do as I do, right? I'm just being totally honest with you and upfront. Oh, I really wish I would take this off me. I always keep um, uh, one of those dollar store squirt bottles with 50% alcohol, 50% water. Um, and I like to, you know, when I need it, it's there. Wow, I can't wait. So now I'm just covering the metal part where you put the coins. I can't remove that, so I'm just going to paint around it, but I'm just securing it with tape to make sure that um, I don't get paint on it. Now I'm gonna use Slick Stick, and this is a product by Dixie Bell. It's an excellent preparation product when you're painting glass or metal or any slippery surfaces like that. It really does make the paint stick to it. I'm noticing that the color is still peeking through, so I'm gonna try a second coat and see if that covers it. The red is still coming through very vividly, so I'm gonna spray it with a can of white paint. I'm really spraying a lot because I wanna make sure that it gets all covered that you can't see through. Finally, coat number three is really starting to cover it, but it did take three coats, so if you're gonna do this project or something like this, Maybe you might want to use a boss from Dixie Bell. That 
covers it doesn't let the color go through but I didn't use it but if that's something that you know you might want to think about I'm gonna brush on some white one coat of white because just to make sure that those little um, red is not coming through and honestly I'm just going to give it one coat Now there's these four little dots in here. To make sure that I have it right, I'm going to do this over the dots. Okay. Now I wanna show you what I did because I wanted to make sure I got the uh, line straight in the middle. Uh, it took me a little while, but then I found out the easiest way and I thought, oh my goodness, should have done this all along. So I'm gonna show you. Um, so it has these little lines here. From here, I just made a little line there and here, okay. And then I traced it. That's for the bottom. So that's for the bottom. I took the top and I did the same thing. So this was two inches, so my center would be one inch. Uh, two and a half, one and a quarter. So I found my center point of these. When I flipped it back over, I knew that that was my center point, so I just made a little line there. And then I flipped the other way here, found the center point on the bottom, made a little notch, and then I just connected the two. I tell you, you know what? It took me like half an hour. I'm not worried about how it looks now. Don't worry because you know when a project is in midway, it uh, it looks messy. So you look at it and you think, oh my gosh, what the heck am I gonna do with that? Don't worry, uh, we're gonna make this all pretty. Now, you know I always show you everything. It's very, very important because I don't want you to think that everything always goes smooth. So I painted the top. I tried to do the little lines like this. Whoa, guys, you know, that didn't go so well. What I did was I painted it over and I made a little bit of a mess, but I'm not worried because, you know, we're gonna fix it. It's only paint. It's my husband's idea. We cut out a circle, the triangles, and then I'm gonna be putting it like this. And then I'm gonna trace it all the way around. If you guys have an easier way to do this, I'd love to hear from you. I didn't tape it, but I took some tape and I marked how many inches it was height-wise, the measurements, and then I put little dots on the tape, and then I put the tape on there and then just marked all the way around, marked the little dots, and then I put a tape all the way this way to connect the dots, and that's how I got my even squares. This shop here has been quite a challenge. I thought I was going to, that it would be very easy, just do that and that, and then, you know, down the center. Well, it wasn't that easy. So now it's a royal mess. This is what I want you to see. Don't worry about this. If you get this, don't worry about it. Every other one I know will be white and I'm gonna paint it. Sometimes it takes a little trial and error, so don't be afraid. Things happen, right? I'm going to let this dry. Now, remember what I always say, when you look at something, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a mess. Don't worry about it because everything always looks like a mess until you're done. I just wanted to show you because it has these ridges here, I painted all the way in here. And now I'm going to paint this here in a different color. And then the next color will cover everything here. Now, you will also notice that I didn't go with a brush through everything um you you'll see some white kind of peeking through that was done on purpose because i don't want a full black square i want some peekaboo white coming through uh, now i'm going to be using this gold this is from gold leaf i really really like this and i'm going to be using the 6110 the classic gold you have to shake it a lot 
I wanted to talk about the brushes I'm gonna be using. I don't want to use my very, very good brushes because you know what? I find that once you use this, that the brushes are never the same. Uh, I like to keep one just specifically for the gold. I call you up in the middle of the night Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling all right You give me comfort, say just give it some time By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine You and I will always know where we belong This ain't no ordinary Here's my little salty. Some of you guys asked me what breed he is. He's a Shiba Inu, about three months old. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you. I would watch the days go by, wasted in blue. I was out of use. Now every day, every night, every moment with you. Now this has the little springs in there, the little mechanism. I'm not gonna paint that, paint around it. My birthday's in July and my goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers. 5,000, that's it. I am 1,200 away. And only you can do that for me. If you can please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below and hit the bell, turn it to black to make sure that you get notified when I upload. That's When you put in a quarter, Right now, one gumball falls out and he says that's not fair for the kids, that he's got to adjust it to make sure that they get a couple of gumballs. I don't think so. I think one gumball's enough. There's right there, front. Got too many gumballs. So we put a quarter. And how many are they getting now? Two. Two it is.
So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really, really helps push my video out. And if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to share the video, please. Now take care of each other, be kind, and always remember that you wanna reach a point in your life when you say, remember when and never ever, I wish I did. We'll see you next time.